You guys always get to see the finished product behind me, but you don't normally get to see the behind the scenes on the process. So the car behind me was for Scudera Cameron Glickenhaus, helped to be built by Armada Engineering, and we developed all of the body panels on the car behind us. The CAD designers in this project was Podium Engineering. They are a firm in Italy. Everyone part of the team was the dream team. It was awesome to work with every single person, and we're excited to show you the process where it starts as CAD files, goes through the CNC process, finishes tooling, and then goes to production. And the finished product you see behind me is the final, final product. And the cool thing about the car behind me is it is a kit car. So you as a consumer can buy all of the parts and you can either put it together by yourself or hire a shop to build it as well. This thing is bonkers. Armada Engineering took it out off-roading, got a bunch of content and it looks crazy. People always see this thing on a trailer or in the desert and go, what is that thing? It's absolutely nuts. So if you're interested, make sure to contact SCG, Scudera Cameron Glickenhaus, to get your name on the next kit. So when we first got introduced to this project, I was extremely excited. Automotive is completely my passion. I love building custom parts, custom kit cars, custom cars in general. It is a fun, fun thing to do for us. So when we got introduced to SCG to build their 008, it was awesome. So excited. Podium was the original people that designed the CAD files, which you see behind us on the screen. Basically from that point, once the CAD files were solidified, finished, signed off by SCG, we took all of the finished CAD and then made our recommendations on how to either alter the parts or our recommendations on how to flange and make the mold files themselves. So once Podium finished their aspect, we took it over 100%, designed all flanges, designed all mold files. They trusted us with the entire project, which came out to be fantastic. So we're gonna start showing you the overall design and we're gonna start showing some of the mold files as well to show you the process. All right, so I'm gonna highlight three parts. We have the door, upper fender, and the rear bumper fender. They call it the rear bumper fender. It's really just a, a rear fender. So they basically sent us these three files. We made some tweaks here and there to make them manufacturable. So we're gonna start off with the upper fender, which is this portion right here. The part is this section all right here. It ends next to this flange. We have a three inch runoff flange, which then has positioning targets all around the flange itself, because this is the outer portion of the upper fender. And then this is the inner portion of the upper fender as well. So basically all the positioning targets that you see around it, which I'll zoom in and show you, align with the other mold to produce that single finished part. All right, so the next part we're gonna show is the rear bumper. And you can see it's really complex. You have an outer face here. You have the inner structure back here. These two faces tie into what we call wings, the top and the bottom wings as well. It's got a taillight pocket back here. It has an additional cutout. That way you can reach your arm in and over to fasten down this wing in this section. And then on top of that, you have an indentation on the front side to latch it down. So it is quite complex. This is one of the harder parts that we did for them. We had to basically do this entire piece as three total pieces. So starting off, this is gonna be the outermost piece or portion of the rear bumper itself. So I'll hide the actual block. And you guys can see, we have a flange also all the way around the part. This portion connects to the back portion, which basically is the second section of the mold. Once this is made, the last portion is a smaller piece. It's gonna be this front edge right here where the latch goes down to the side screw as well. So pretty complex. Lamination on this part too is definitely not an easy task, but we're able to demold it, make the part properly and get it on the car and perfectly fit against all the other panels, which is an awesome thing to do on a complex part just like this one. All right, and the last part we're gonna show you for the video for mold files will be the door file. This has an outer skin and an inner skin, just like the other parts that we showed you as well. It's a two piece mold. That way it produces one final component. Along with that, we also have inserts that are in the door itself to actually fasten down to the vehicle's chassis and lock in the back right here too, which are added during the lamination cycle. So 
This portion has the same concept. It's got an outer shell, which is the door itself, has its outside flange, which comes all across this section right here. And that combines to the inner structure as well. So this one shows you the pink part and red flange. So it's a little bit easier to see, which is awesome. And the red would be the flange, the pink would be the part. These two pieces combined against each other to produce one final part, which is the outer and the inner door combined. All right, it's a lot louder in this room. The machine is running right now. It is not for the 008 project because we've already finished it, but every project follows the same exact procedures. So on the machine behind me is right now a mold for a client. It has just started the finishing tool path. So it's taking its tool bit, it's carving down the shape to the exact size we want it to be. After the steep and shallow, which is our finishing tool path is completely done, it takes a smaller tool called for corner multi-pencil finish. It then carves all the tight corners out to get that super tight accuracy. The machine holds tolerances within three to five thou. That is insane. So for reference, 0 0.003 inches or 0 0.005 inches. That's crazy. It's basically perfect. The machine is very expensive. It very much is worth every penny we've invested into it because not only do we produce better quality parts, we also get to work with a lot more clients that request and require this exact machine. After the plugs come off the machine, they get lightly sanded, primed, wet sanded, and then released. After that is completely done, we then make the tooling. So right behind me here, you're seeing we are doing some epoxy tools for a client of ours. The way that this flare was developed, you have the main fender, inner flange, which is the liner section, and then you also have a back mold, the flange that sits against the fender itself. So currently our lead guy is laying up the mold. He's almost completed with this side right here. He's already finished this side too. The epoxy mold will then get cured for a couple days or in our oven to speed up the cure cycle. We'll grind it all down, clean it up, pull the mold apart, and then wet sand the mold again, polish it, and it's ready for production. So we showed you guys almost the entire process. Behind me, we have the finished and completed epoxy molds. The reason the client went with epoxy was the main reason is they wanna see higher production numbers for this kit, and epoxy is the way to go. You can go polyester, you can go vinyl ester, you can go to epoxy. Because of how much detail these parts had and the production numbers they anticipated, we made the recommendation to go to epoxy. That way they last a lot longer, they got that nice shine, parts come out properly as well. There's a bunch of added benefits to going epoxy. The main added benefit is the lifespan. You're gonna have a lot more pulls out of these molds in particular with epoxy versus going to a polyester route. So there's tons of molds behind me. There's over 36 to 40 parts. We have molds down here, this entire row. We have some over here and more down there as well. And they're massive parts. So it's a testament to the size that we can produce for our clients. So I took you guys through all the processes, CAD design, making the tooling files, developing the CNC plugs, making the tooling. It's all hand laid polyester fiberglass parts. They are very, very strong. They're thicker than normal so they can withstand the abuse you're gonna put this through. These kit cars are becoming a lot more popular. With the technology that's available in this day and age, it is easier for companies to build something like this behind me. Let me say that, it is not an easy task, but it is easier with the technology that we have available. For example, all the CAD programs that we use, Fusion 360, Rhino, Autodesk Alias, Autodesk Power Mill, those are all tools that we use to develop the parts behind us. Paired with that and our CNC machines, as well as our experienced tooling department and production, we can take care of it. Give us a call, send us an email, go on our website, check out our past portfolio, check out all the clients we've worked with on our services page as well. Give me a call, let's get a project started. Thanks again.